Hello everyone, this is actually my second attempt at this. I apologize, I had some technical issues first round. But my name is Aegis, as it says right there. Um, and I am a StarCraft II caster. I am also a lifelong Halo fan. This is one of the first games I ever played with the original coming out a long time ago. Uh, and so I heard recently that Halo 4 was going to come back to MLG, and I cheered with delight, hoping I could get to go to Dallas. Um, I will probably end up going with my friend as I am based in Huntsville, Alabama uh, currently. And as I mentioned, I'm a StarCraft II caster. Um, but also I love Halo, and I heard there was an open tryout for Halo 4 casters for MLG Dallas, and I said, I got to do it. So, uh, jumping in, this game that we're going to be viewing, we're going to be doing a bit of sales style, sale of Fidian. If you don't know, they cast, uh, both of these casters stream restream pro league where they watch uh, the stream with the Korean commentary and then they place their own commentary over it so this is a game from MLG Providence the last time that Halo was in an MLG moment of silence but we're back um, and it was just amazing it's between Warriors and Instinct uh, these two teams and it's going to be on a map called Nexus uh, it is an MLG map and the game mode is King of the Hills. Is going to be, we're going to be watching set one. Um, I'm more than happy to cast the rest of the series if there is enough interest, if you would like me to. But we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, starting with the simple uh, introduction. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, just showing the separate hills, the way the map works. There are a couple of key contention spots, such as the grenade launcher, the sniper rifle. Lots of ins and outs. Uh, and this is the basic loading screen, as most of you know from Halo Reach. Here are the all of the different players. Uh, and just getting it set up now. Uh, basic countdown going in. Everybody's selecting their first loadouts. Um, and actually, if I know right, this is actually I got your pistola or just pistola's uh, birthday on this day, and he's been playing very well throughout this entire tournament. Uh, grenades fine instantly. Pistola gets the first kill of the game, and that puts Instinct off to a great start. Uh, now we can see as this, this is very quick pace. He does have a grenade launcher out insanely early, um, and they're just going to start racking up some points here. Uh, every second does equal a point um, on this part of the hill, so this way this is going to work. Uh, now I do want to mention a bit of background on these teams. Uh, Instinct did come from the winners bracket. Warriors came from the losers bracket. So Warriors has been playing all Championship Sunday, uh, not having a whole lot of time to rest. Instinct, on the other hand, had played I think one match, one set, and then they're into the finals. But here we go. Instinct taking an early lead up ten to two. Uh, now we're going to follow Dredski around or Dursky. I apologize for this pronoun his name and you see he, he's definitely trying to take out the player on the hill because uh, more important than getting points is stopping your opponent from having points you know it's that basic concept of a good def or a good offense is a solid defense or something like that uh, I don't remember the exact phrase off the top of my head. He's constantly moving. All these players are jumping around. They know this map incredibly well. Uh, so, let's see. There he goes. He's trying to get him. He doesn't quite grab him uh, as he should, but he's going to run around to the other side, see if he can't grab him. He does grab over two by the back, but does take a sniper rifle to the back of the head. That actually does hurt a lot. And Pistola with the sniper rifle now moving around, trying to gain some map control, uh, switching to his up close and personal weapon, the DMR. Uh, he does, uh, that opponent does go down, over two killing punch with headshot. He's great, great sniper shot from Pistola there. Uh, you know, very long range, very quick reaction time. I love it. He is going to go try and help his uh, teammate control this area. They are trying to get this map control now. Uh, you know, stick to the points. He is going to get Dursky, maybe. No, he does not get him. He does not have any shields left. So anything beyond this is going to be health damage, uh, including a headshot, uh, which these players are good enough. That's what they aim for. They don't they don't play around. Uh, you can see him. He's trying to go in. We are going to go into the Astro Listen In for a little bit here. Just listen to what the players have to say. Tunnels, I believe. I want to up in tunnels. Tunnels. Anybody, two shots. 
Stay on. Tom's dead. See your shield, Tom. We can sight Tom. Watch red. I'm watching red. I'm watching sight. You don't watch I'm watching it. They're coming right now. They're coming right now, all. Guys, I'm close. I'm broad. Stay alive. Stay alive. There's 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 guys there's 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 guys. Careful. River guys, River Dale! That's the that's the other guy. I spotted red! I'm here! They're in our base! Top of base, top of They steal red! And Pistola showing great survival ability, excellent accuracy and marksmanship, particularly with that sniper rifle. Uh, I do believe he's almost out of ammo. If he's not, he's very low. But each of those shots has been spot on before going down. Uh, and he's trying to see if anyone's there who's going to take him out. Uh, definitely keeping control of that bottom area. Always throwing out a grenade. He's going to get Dursky here. Oh, Dursky just getting away. Nice play by Dursky. Staying heads up, staying aware. Able to get out of there always. But it looks like he's going to go down with a nice up close and personal melee attack. He is checking that area, trying to get some of his health back quicker. Uh, gonna switch over to sniper rifle out of ammo, so he does have to switch to a plasma pistol. And, you know, that's definitely gonna help take down some shields incredibly quickly, but he's gonna get snake bite with a terrific headshot uh, while snake bite was jumping. Uh, he does grab the grenade launcher from the center. Gonna see if he can't do some damage. Trying to get up close and personal. He's gonna have to switch to his DMR for that. The grenade launcher does tend to be a longer range weapon than the DMR. The DMR you can get. You know, you can get up close and personal in it. You know, you, you don't have to be scared to. Um, it is more of a medium range weapon, though. Not quite like the shotgun or the needler or any of these other, you know, face to face weapons, uh, such as the energy sword, even which is a melee weapon, as the name describes it. It's a sword. Uh, Pistola moving around, trying to gain some control of his tire. He appears to be doing very well, but he's pinned down by a sniper. He needs to get an, he needs to get a teammate to take out that sniper for him. He can't do it himself. Nice grenade there to take out the clutch. Um, different clutch than the MLG clutch, by the way. Uh, the host for the StarCraft series. Terrific clutch, by the way. Uh, but he is moving around here, staying active on the map, uh, constantly throwing out some offense, constantly throwing out some defense, staying incredibly map aware. And he does finally go down. Uh, it will respawn in seven, six, five. Uh, and they are constantly screaming at each other. And everything you hear from them, that you heard from the 30 seconds I let it play, is relevant information. They are constantly talking to each other. They're not just saying, hey, how's your day? They are constantly saying, sniper, sniper, sniper. Uh, you know, control, control, control. You got the grenade launcher and you, you know, check the closet. There's a nice little closet area on this map that it can destroy if you get a spawn in there. Over two is now who's going to be watching. And he's trying to get, he's got a couple enemies on all sides, but he does take a round of face. And that, that is not good for the survivor ability. Going to clutch now. Uh, for the blue team, which is Team Warriors right now, they are down 20 to 118 of instinct. They need to. They need to step it up right now if they want to hope to have a chance in this. They are fairly tired. Uh, he does not get that in the corner there with the lunchbox taking him out. Uh, very soon. Now snake fight here. Definitely, oh, going to walk right into that ogre, throws out a grenade. He does dive it, trying to close the gap, see what he can't do. But it looks like he's just going to try and get some health regen. They definitely need to start getting some points on the board. Uh, Instinct has not scored in quite a while. Uh, oddly enough, for one of these types of matches, that's very well done by Warriors, able to gain that map control, able to gain that comfortability that they're looking for in this type of match. A uh, couple things, he's waiting for an opponent to come around the corner there, and there's the first grenade to check, and there it goes. He did get a shot off, it was not a headshot, hit him in the shoulder, uh, and that's not a one-shot kill with a sniper rifle, uh, despite it being a very large sniper rifle. And he does take a round to the back there from the sniper rifle, if I do recall correctly. And it looks like Instinct has retaken map control. They're going to start stepping up that pressure again that they're so well known for. And they're getting some serious points out of this uh, area here. And we're going to see lots of grenades being thrown back and forth. Very well, very nice use of the grenades in this from these players, obviously it's a top tier, these are the best Halo Reach players on the planet right now, uh, you know, constantly staying active, constantly throwing grenades, constantly putting down some aggression, we're going to stick with Royal 2, he does spawn near Pistola, and let's see if he can't grab him, he does try and grab another player, he, uh, and Warriors do control the pillow right now, but Pistola does bumble Royal 2 to death right now, I'm going over to Roy on Instinct. 
and oh, he gets taken out. I believe he got snake bite with the same one, with the same shot, but uh, that may have been pistol if I, uh, if I saw that correctly. Uh, nice little kill, death kill action happening on over there. Working around, definitely gonna check around, constantly checking these corners, constantly checking across the map. They see that that area is controlled by blue, so he's gonna check it, see if he can't pick off the blue player in there. Uh, and he does get Dursty with a nice shot. Uh, he does grab the grenade launcher now, so having a DMR and a grenade launcher, checking the score real quickly, you gotta know what's going on. Who's the biggest threat? Who do you want to take out? If you get the chance to take out multiple players, who's the, who's the guy to take? Uh, who, who do you want out of the fight? So, looks like he's gonna go up. They are trying to control this top. I mean, it's King of the Hill. That's absolutely what this is about. They're trying to grab points as they can, even if it's one point at a time. Uh, even if they just step in, back up, step in, back up. They're still getting points, just maybe not as fast a rate as they would like. Uh, but he is under fire, he's gonna have to get out of there, he hopes to stay alive, trying not to take too much health damage so that he can uh, regain the shields and get back up to full damage there. Constantly, uh, players from Warriors just barraging them. This is a nice 4v4, by the way, if you were not aware of that. Um, they're trying, they're trying instantly doing very well. I don't know if you all can do that, they are screaming at each other. Uh, and again, it's not anger, it's all relevant information to win. It's all, who's got the sniper, who's got the grenade launch, who has the hill, who do you see, where are they, anything relevant. He does grab, uh, Ogre 2 did grab Pistola with a headshot there, that was a different, uh, scene than what happened there. Uh, so, I do have Pistola running around now. He's trying to stay active on the map, constantly checking these little areas, uh, making sure that nobody can pop up in that little nook and cranny. But uh, he's going to do it himself and take off and pick off one blue and start grabbing some points for instinct. Instinct coming up on 200 right now to the 70 of Warriors. They are doing incredibly well. And the Warriors, almost the fatigue is showing. You can see how tired they are. They just, it probably hurts to play at this point. They're giving it their all because this is the national championships for MLG Lunchbox. Getting taken out there by a grenade uh, from Jersey. And we're going to see the sniper up being used to great effect. Constant jump, zoom, shoot, unzoom. He gets a triple kill. Very nice play from him. Definitely good use of the sniper rifle, switching to the DMR into some more solid play. He is checking his areas, expecting a red to run out there. Uh, player one of the players from Instinct. I'm not quite sure who he's looking for, uh, but he does grab one. He does tag him, but he doesn't quite get him. Again, another very close shot from Dursky. He's trying to stay on top of that, and there's Pistola, and Pistola gets gunned down by Snakebite, actually, gets a kill on this, and uh, Roy grabbing some revenge on uh, Dursky. Here's Clutch now switching over, uh, and again, I do want to let you all listen in for a little bit on their conversation as to what they are saying to each other. Red dead, left, red green, left, left, left. He's red green, red green. They're gonna spawn blue green, blue green, blue green, blue green. One shot top green! One shot top green! Suck! One shot top green! 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 One shot top well, a king of the hill that could be summed up by... Well, here we go. We're coming up on the end of the match now, obviously. Warriors. Unfortunately, there are spoilers just due to the time. But also, I mean, Instinct is now at 215, and Warriors just now hitting 100 on the king of the hill points. And this is excellent play by Instinct. They've definitely shown more teamwork. Nice map control, good map awareness, knowing where all the other players are on the map, and just superior marksmanship, nice twitch reflexes, that ability to get off those slick shots you need to be able to get off to win, and they're coming up on the win, it looks like, and they do have just a little bit left to go, they are at 230 to 105 of Warriors, they're constantly holding that hill, I mean, they could almost give up now, still win, oh, he does beat down Dursky, over two does, uh, moved around, getting the double kill with that nice snipe, uh, constantly checking the score, he wants to know, you know, how much 
much to be got. You know, who's doing well? Can I get some more points before this ends? See if I can't take the top spot in my team. Um, but they all have their roles and they know it. Good map awareness. And it is going to go out. Nice double kill there. Game number one. Roy just demolishing the sniper rifle, wrecking people, and Instinct just showing total control of this game, uh, you know, to the 246 to 112 of Warriors, and again, this is where coming through the loser's bracket hurts you, because even though you're in the final, they had to play probably close to twice the maps, and there's the win for Instinct. Very solid win. We see our glorious champions of game one. By the way, there are a couple more games in this set. Um, I'm not going to cast them all due to time, and uh, I feel I did really well in this cast. So, there we can see over two getting 19 kills for Roy. Roy, big win of the day with 29 to 9. With a 29 to 14. He had a 15 kills for That's very impressive. And, then, and I mean, you can even see, none of these players had a negative kill to death ratio if I, if I saw that correctly. Um, so, yes, uh, thank you all for watching. I am Aegis, you can follow me on Twitter at Aegis, A-L-T-A-E-G-I-S, as it says right there. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.